All right. Now, we're going to kind of start to add a second layer onto some of the concepts we've been talking about from closed guard. So in the same way, at the beginning, we started with just some fundamental just movements, okay? And then looking for those movements in techniques that we already know. So in this case, for the second layer, things we want to look at. First is parallel shins, okay? Getting my shins to line up. Or another way you could work, you could think of this as just making sure your legs are working in the direction that you're trying to turn your, or, or work cooperating with your upper body. Okay, so for a simple example, would just be like a arm bar, belt test arm bar that you all know, okay? Wrist grip, elbow grip, foot on the hips. Now what I see a lot of when people try this is when they move for the arm bar, their right leg is not moving or not moving nearly enough because they're so focused on getting the left leg around the head. So I see a lot of this weak little pivot and it's very awkward to get the leg around the head, okay? So, when I go for this arm bar, I want to make sure my right leg is working with me, okay, and pointing my heel towards my knee, all right, so that when I get my arm bar here, my shins are lining up parallel, okay. This goes hand in hand with, let's angle this way, the second concept we're going to talk about here, which is actually second and third concept. Uh, which is, I want to get my partner's shoulders off of his hips, okay? This is just another way of saying I, don't, I can't let him keep his posture. So in the first series of attacks we were doing, they all had to do with, we'll go this way, they all had to do with getting both of my hips and shoulders out from under my partner and our spines staying basically parallel, okay? We've got parallel spines, and my hips and my shoulders are both coming out from under my part. This is a common element in a lot of the attacks we looked at on the first year. Now, for these attacks, I'm going to go spines parallel, or excuse me, spines perpendicular, and I'm only going to have my hips or my shoulders out, not both. All right? So, for instance, in the arm bar, we'll show this side actually, okay? In the arm bar, wrist, elbow, step on the hips. I'm going to make my pivot. I'm going to come around. Perpendicular spines. My shoulders are free, but my hips are covered by my opponent. Okay? Now, let's see. So that's getting our shins uh, parallel, so our legs are working together. Getting our spines perpendicular. But look, if I get my spine perpendicular to my partner's spine, and I don't move his shoulders off of his hips, this is going to do me no good, okay? From here, when I start going to attack arm bars, they're super loose, oh yeah, he stacks me up, but every time I make one of these attacks where I'm going spine perpendicular to my partner, I have to take his hip or his shoulders off of his hips, or I have to shove his hips out from under his shoulders. So anytime I'm going perpendicular to my partner here, this goes right hand in hand with making sure I'm active with my right leg. My right leg pulls his shoulders off of his hips. I get my shins parallel and I have my arm bar. Okay, so now, uh, the final thing we, did, we don't see necessarily so much in this arm bar, we'll see it in some other arm bars later, is covering a shoulder, covering a shoulder with my inner thigh and inside part of my knee. So we'll see that here with a triangle choke, okay? Another technique that gets much stronger as my spine gets perpendicular to my partner. So here, when I go for just my basic triangle choke here, okay, everything here you're familiar with. Now, again, if I want to keep my partner's shoulders off of his hips, okay, I don't want to take this foot off too early. This is a really common mistake here I see on the triangle to be relaxing this foot, yeah, before you have the grip on the shin. Okay, so when we're here, I have my foot on my partner's hip, even before I get my shin, I can keep his posture broken because I'm holding down on his head, but I'm also pushing his hips. I push his hips really strong with this left leg, okay? 
So I don't just, I don't fight him only by holding down. I also shove his hips out from under him. If he can't pull his shoulders up and he can't bring his hips forward, he can't get posture. Okay, now from here, here's where I want you to pay extra special attention to excluding this shoulder from your choke. I don't want to try to choke through his shoulder. Okay, especially if he's got big broad shoulders. So when I have my shin here, I make my angle and I'm actually going to cover, I cover the top of my partner's shoulder. And then even on somebody with broad shoulders, I can get a full lock of the triangle. But listen, this shoulder coverage is, makes it so much stronger. I will accept having my, this foot here, even a little bit on my calf muscle. Okay, so not like a proper all a proper locked triangle all the way behind my knee. I will accept having this a little bit on my calf muscle if I can exclude his shoulder. So I'm going to tap right here and keeping my shins parallel. Okay, as much as possible. Of course, they're crossed, so it's not perfectly parallel. But what I mean is not like this. Okay, so if his shoulder is out of the choke, even if I catch my calf muscle, if I point my shins this way and squeeze. Okay, I'm going to get a tap. Of course, even more so if the triangle is fully locked up. Okay, now, uh, let's scoot this way a little bit. I'll pull it back, back. Okay, now, last one. So another kind of uh, basic or fundamental technique here, the pendulum sweep. Now let's remember a few of the things we talked about for our scissor and flower sweeps. It's a forward, forward corner sweep. That means I want to bring my partner's shoulder. It should land somewhere on this line. If I draw a line through his hip, down his thigh bone, through his knee, coming out this way. The sweep goes out along that line. Particularly, I think of his shoulder hitting somewhere on that line. Okay? Now, like your scissor sweep, like these forward corner sweeps, I want to make sure I'm not fighting myself by pinning his hips down. I need his hips to come up and over that knee, okay? So what that means is a lot of people are too active too early with this, uh, the leg that's driving, giving the power to the sweep, okay? So what I mean is this, a lot of times you see this and people pendulum and they're trying to knock their partner over right here, trying to knock their partner down with this leg, okay? and it's not doing anything to lift his hips. So what I want to make sure I'm doing is, again, getting my spine perpendicular. And remember, on a perpendicular spine attack, I'm only going to be able to get my hips out or my shoulders out. Arm bar, triangle, is shoulders out. Pendulum sweep is hips out, okay? So when I'm here, I get my sleeve grip, I start to get under my partner's leg. Now watch, I'm gonna use a hip twist. Look at my shins, they line up parallel, the same direction. And I'm trying to free my hips from under my partner. I'm pulling my shoulder deeper under my partner. I bring my partner forward. As I bring my partner forward, his hips come up. As his hips come up, I'm actually going to relax this leg. I want to load him on my hamstring. So as I bring him forward, I get under my partner. He's on my hamstring now. Now, as I bring him over, I drive his shoulder to that line, and I give my foot here of him. Okay? You see how when I load him up that much, his back is not even hitting the ground. I'm driving his shoulder straight to the point I'm aiming at. Okay? So one more time here on the pin foot sweep. Sleeve grip. I like to move my hips out a little bit, start to come up and dig, dig, dig underneath my partner's leg. To begin to free my hips out from underneath my partner, I twist. I kick and carry my partner forward. If you need to, second kick, okay? Look at my right leg, relax. I need to carry him on my hamstring. I give a little extra kick for momentum and come back. His shoulder hits the mat and I come up to the mat. All right, so same way we did on the first series, some basic fundamental movements or principles that we're gonna look for trying to solve as many problems as we can with the same fundamental concepts. All right?
more coming soon.